right, what is going on? I have two absolutely gorgeous ladies in my studio. Wow. So We've got Harry Adney right here and her lovely manager, Alexandra. That's right. Hey, yeah. you like that. <laughs> How you doing, girlies? We're good. Right, round of applause. Look at this. <laughs> Kobe, come on. We've got some stunners in here today. Wow, I'm getting hot. I'm actually physically getting hot here. Hold on, give us a second. Right, Harry, Harry Adney. Hello. You are looking absolutely stunning. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you look nice. You, thank, well, you know. You're a nice jumper. Yeah, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I thought, you know, it's a bit cloudy out there. I thought it was whack on the old Shoreditch jumper. Anyway. <laughs> um, you look so glamorous today. Are you off out tonight? I'm not. This is my normal wear. You're joking. No, mate. this is. Got to dress up. Right. And you La can never be too overdressed. Ladies and gents, I'll tell you, this yeah, this <laughs> lovely lady is wearing, you know, gorgeous dress there. Um, and we have to thank your manager for, for dressing you like that, Oh, right? yeah, of course. My dresser, manager of everything. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Harry Adney, tell the, the lovely listeners about yourself, uh, where you're from, where we would know you from. Okay, um, I'm a haute couture model and mm -hmm. now getting recognised as a bit of a supermodel. Yes, you are. By some people, yeah. Um, I'm the face of a lot of companies now get into 15 roughly um face of the sugar hut wow. yeah yep. um face of there's a big new car that's coming up that i can't announce yet oh but it's coming up soon and yeah. on the first of july so it's a well-known car um and i'm the first ever face of that i'm the face of pia michi and um, they sell yep. to celebrities worldwide face of hmh couture cheryl cole's designer um the face uh, of any, <laughs> any more? Guess radio there's quite a, lot, there's quite a few yeah, yeah face of Guess it's a lot radio, of designers yeah. Yeah, yeah no, amazing. And the patron and face of Detect and Protect Breast Cancer Awareness. Wow. So I'm doing that now. So that's going. And good. You're, you're only a young girl. Yeah, yeah, 19. Wow. Just, just. <laughs> Have you always wanted to be a model from an early age? How did you get into it? Um, I went to Sylvia Young's acting school when I was little. Cool. Left there and um, got so tall. I was so tall against You are very girls. tall. If, can you just stand up for me? <laughs> I, I, I came in and gave you a kiss and a cuddle. Oh, flipping it. Oh, wow. Giant. Yeah, <laughs> completely. Kofi, she, I told you, she's taller than you. I said that. I said, Kofi, watch out in the studio today. We're, we're bringing in a lovely lady who's <laughs> seven foot tall. She's going to be towering <laughs> over you. <laughs> no, she's not really. How, how tall are you? Five, uh, five foot ten. Okay, cool. So, I'm yeah. uh, five foot... Um, uh, seven. I thought it was about five foot eleven. Yeah, no, no, I'm five foot six actually. <laughs> but um, that's right. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, five foot eleven. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. So you went silver young, and that sort of, you know, how you. Yeah, I got so tall, and then I just went it. into modelling, and then I bumped into HMH Couture, and from there, and Mum sort of started talking to her, and now we're good friends with her, and I work with her constantly in the face of her company. So amazing. That's gone really well. It's gone so quick. How are you staying so grounded, young girl like yourself? Everything's opening up. Fifteen companies you're the face of. How are you staying so? You're, you're yeah, staying so relaxed and down to earth. I mean, I love your your good kind nature like that, but sometimes it can really, you know, overtake you. Know. My mum's sort your of your mum's yeah. helping you through that. Yeah, she gives me strong morals. I yeah. don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't do anything. Good it's girl. Like, yeah, I, I don't thought, smoke. I feel really proud about it now. <laughs> I don't smoke yeah. or drink either. Oh, that's good. Actually, no, I don't. I don't <laughs> smoke, but I, you know, drink I a little the, bit. Yeah, I have the old couple. <laughs> yeah, I've seen you out, out and about. Yeah, you don't have a drink. You just no. have a cranberry juice. Maybe well, <laughs> if um, if I'm with a group, maybe I'll have a glass of wine, but yeah, not only celebrations. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, amazing. Right, Terry. <laughs> tell us what have you got lined up? You must have a really, really busy summer. What have you got lined up? Um, I've got quite a few things lined up. There's um, an Amy Child's press release shoot coming out, and um, they've yes. asked me to do that for a new swimwear range. Nice. Um, so that's just in talks. I'm not 100% sure yet. You're so quite good friends with her, aren't you? I've worked a lot with her for um, Essex Fashion Week. She buys, buys a lot of Pia dresses. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah it's I've never met her yet. One no, day. she's lovely. Really nice girl. Yeah, yeah, I will interview her one day. Yeah, no, yeah, she's... she's... Good. Yeah, um, and then I've got... I've just completed a, a Pakistan Fashion Week. Which was an experience. Yeah. yeah, I've done shows for like HMH and they're always so smooth and laid back. Yeah. And when I did the other ones, the like the fashion weeks, I was just like, oh my goodness, like this isn't like nothing I've ever seen before. Man. So, so yeah. much more prestigious, aren't they? So yeah. High, high they're they're obviously more prestigious. I mean, the the low key ones are obviously more fun to do because you're just more chilled out. You're more. That's relaxed. probably it. Yeah, I've yeah. probably done the low key ones. And but you yeah. get more publicity out of the ones that are bigger. So it's exactly what you want right. to do and what you yeah. push yourself to. So. Amazing. I yeah. think you must love it secretly though. I do. I do love it. But there's a lot of um, cattiness backstage, and there's a lot of down points. But there's so many good points. 
Yeah, I mean, yeah, you meet yeah. a lot of good people, go to a lot of good events. Yeah. Meet great people like yourself. Hello. Yes, I was waiting <laughs> for that. <laughs> uh, are you hearing that? London town. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, but yeah, like you, I, I suppose you must sort of avoid all of that bitchiness type because you are such a, a well-known figure now and you are completely you. on the on the rise. Aww. It's clear to see. And uh, yes, yeah, super modern. <laughs> And um, yeah, so you must be avoiding that now. People, you know, all the all the the backstabbers and that sort of thing. They have to accept you now. That's what I'm sort of trying to say. Yeah, it's a bit bad, really. The, the higher you get, the more people do respect you. Yeah. But it shouldn't be like that. It should be. I know. It's That's so just... bad. You should help each other when you're all climbing to the top. Yeah. But unfortunately, people aren't like that. That's just the industry we're in. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to be catching up with some more modelling talk in just a bit. <laughs> I'm enjoying this today, I really am. So yourself, obviously you need to stay in shape completely. Have you got like a particular diet and you know, do you go down the gym regularly? Um, I do, I force myself. Yeah. So, but um, yeah, some days I like don't go, some days I do. I'm not really like hot on the gym. Um, I swim a lot. I swim loads Great, that's all really the good time. For you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I have my own little routines where I'm like jumping up and down in the pool and stuff. Weird yeah. stuff, really weird. Um, <laughs> oh, tell us about your weirdness. <laughs> That's what we want to hear on Backstage Guest Radio. We've had a lot of um, attention since Harry um, was in the, the Daily Star. I don't know if you saw yeah, that. that was, yeah, was that last month? No, it was a couple of months back. She had a, a two-page spread in the Daily Star. I saw that on your profile yeah. picture. Yeah, and we had a lot of attention where people sent boxes of chocolates and I've I've got loads of flowers been sent to her. They wow. Yeah. So, Harry, most importantly, you're a single lady, right? I am. I am, wow. yeah. Okay. Are you hearing this? <laughs> Are you hearing this, guest radio listeners? Yeah. Yeah, single for about five months now. Yeah? Yep. Just enjoying life? Yeah, I'm just focusing on my career. Yeah? So, before it wasn't really that. It was quite balanced, but now it's just career, career, career. It must really help. Um, yeah. yeah, completely. I mean... I uh, I was in a long term relationship and it was funny because um, my ex she wasn't in my line of work so she really didn't understand sort of what I was doing and then I met a lovely lady um, who's a dancer in the industry um, and we are just both bouncing off so each other. You can other understand completely. each other, yeah, yeah, that's what you need. Completely, and and when you're you know when you're not when you're with somebody that isn't understanding all of that and and like yourself you know you obviously broke up from your guy five months ago. Yeah. You, it, it's funny, you're so much more focused on yeah. where you want to get to. It's, That's so true. You just yeah. got to, you're just thinking about yourself and One your career thing. and, and yeah, it's what you got to, yeah. it's what you got to do. Unfortunately, yeah, you have to be a little bit selfish like that, yeah. don't you? And just, <laughs> yeah. just crack on. But are you actively looking or are you just, uh, um, I've been you know? on a few dates. Oh, right. Yeah. And they've gone, they've gone, I've had a couple of high profile chaps. Oh, right. Anyone in particular? <laughs> I'll in that is. <laughs> Here we go. This is... Um, I've been asked on a few dates, um, but I've turned them down. Who's the most famous person that's asked you for a date? Well, not the most famous, because there is a very famous one, but... One of them um, dates a lot, though. <laughs> so I think. Yeah, there's one Callum Best. Um... <laughs> yeah, get old Callum. Yes. Yeah, no. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I know I Callum. I've um, car driver. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. Um, no, I don't think you've no, okay, there's a few, there's a few. <laughs> there's just um, a few. It's just not very nice of me to just publicly say, oh, yeah, I said no to you, but by the no. way, here you go, you're on So you're did, on you and, did you and Callum, you know, did you? No, I didn't meet up with him, I just said no. Oh. Yeah. How did he sort of ask you? Quite a few times. <laughs> what, tweeting? Do you know what? Uh, uh, BBM. <laughs> <laughs> Messenger. Harry, come on, you've, you know, you've given him your BBM. Yeah, That's, no. You've given Callum Best your BBM, you're asking for trouble. <laughs> yeah. You really are. Yeah, no, he's a, nice, he's a nice bloke. He's a nice guy. But I'm just not ready to date and date and date. What's, uh, what's your sort of type in a man? Short, curly, dark hair, radio presenter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Oh, actually, damn it. Maybe in another life, unfortunately. Tall, dark and handsome. Ah, darn it. Definitely. Oh, right, cool. Yeah. Okay. And very career orientated. Very career orientated. Yeah. Excellent. Big time. All right. Then, while you're here in that London town, if you want to tweet in, you can do. Harry is young, free, and single. <laughs> I'm joking. Are you football ladies? Um, did you watch the game yesterday? I support Chelsea, but did yes. You, yeah. Do you support My Chelsea? Girl. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've got um, 
I, uh, I've got a uh, tattoo here, actually. No way. <laughs> Excellent. I love it. Oh, I'll take you next year. My um, my dad's got a season ticket, so um, no way. Uh, well, we got like two next to each other, and um, yeah, I'll take you down there amazing. next year. Amazing. Are you a big Chelsea yeah, fan? Yeah, I love Chelsea. Wow, that is amazing. Who's your favourite player? Drogba, because yeah. he's always on the floor. Yeah. I just like how he's always <laughs> on the floor. <laughs> Harry loves job because he's always on the floor. Brilliant. Welcome to the studio. I Thank forgot you. what I was going to say. <laughs> how are you liking it so far? I think it's amazing. Yeah? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Pinks, yeah? Pink's gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Oh, you I really like it. It's the best studio I've been in. Really? Yeah. And you've been on quite a few shows now? Yeah, quite a few. I'm building them up. We're doing a, a radio tour now. So we're going wow. through loads of radio stations. How interesting. Yeah, around the UK. We've got quite a lot lined up. So we're going to start it off soon and then start going with my team. Going yeah, through, yeah. Do it. Quite excited. Right, a uh, question for you, Harry. Obviously, you've met, you know, ridiculously amount of famous people in your already striving career. Who is the most famous that you have met and that you've really liked and got along with? Um, Misha Barton Excellent. from the OC. Yeah. yeah, she was amazing. As soon as I walked into the room, she just jumped up and hugged me. She was just lovely and getting our hair done together. It was amazing. Wow. I haven't spoke to her in a while, but um, I spoke to her for quite a while after and then cut off communication for a little yeah. bit. Um, and then there's been here here and there, we've just said hello and how are you? You know, when you sort of just keep in contact with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, not full on. That's nice. So, who yeah. else have you met? Um, I've met quite a who few didn't, people. Who didn't you like? There, is, there was one <laughs> lady, mentioning no names, but she was very rude and um, she interviewed me and she turned her back on me, didn't want to talk to me and it took another uh, well-known person to grab my hand and say to me, no, come over here, like, ignore her. So the fact that wow, two people presenter. on the same... Yeah. Top You're joking. No, and she completely turned her back. It was my party as well. And she completely turned her back on me. You were what? Host, we were hosting, weren't we? You hosted the party. Yeah, and the party was for me becoming the face. Um, and she was just quite rude. No, from a major yeah, channel. And, yeah, and I was a little bit younger, to be honest, and it sort of really upset me because when you're young and you're first in the industry, it's such a big knock. Yeah. And you think, well, my career's ended. But then as you get older, you sort of think, oh, not, you no one will make so a much. break. Yeah. I've been through so many different circles of people. You, you'll meet this circle, you think, oh, wow, really nice click here. You'll find two months later you don't even speak no, to it's him. it's so true. It's so weird how it, how it just... And, and as you grow as a top professional in the industry, you'll just find that, right, I didn't really... In a weird way, it's like I don't, didn't really need to speak to them and, and you don't yeah, really... You stop realising. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. bet you get that, yeah. It's just a learning curve, isn't it, just the whole way through, but... That's, yeah, sorry to hear that about a female presenter just giving you the uh, uh, the swag off then. Mm. Uh, not <laughs> right, not off. right. You know, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Some of these presenters, eh? Not like not like myself, big no, cheesy green, eh, yeah. coat, eh? Mm -hmm. I don't know. But, um, yeah, is that, how are you with famous people? Do you get a little bit starstruck still? Um, I do. I, at the start, I got really starstruck. Did you? Um, yeah, and it was a bit... Like, I couldn't believe my luck of getting into this industry. Um, now I've sort of learnt to manage it and sort of try to talk to them properly now, like a human. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. Not. Um, <laughs> so, like, I'll sort of be really bubbly and talkative. And I keep getting called My Fair Lady because I'm just so, like, <laughs> chatty to them when I go there. And usually <laughs> people are really... <laughs> yeah, a lot of people, when I've been to events, have been a bit um, posh. <laughs> but can come across a bit stuck up some people. But I, I love the Essex twang. I keep think I've it. got a bit of every, like everything now. Yeah. Like, I don't even know what my accent is now. Just keep it. It's good because um, I've been told myself to, you know, speak obviously a lot more proper, you know. But um, <laughs> but keep it a bit, you know. Yeah, I like your accent. A bit more of a twang, a bit more yeah. of a South London Croydon twang, yeah. you know. It's different. I Everyone let loose tries a bit, to, like, round their accent off. But yeah, it's just no just point. Don't make you. Just, yeah, you got to be comfortable. Exactly. I still get a little bit starstruck. Um, I interviewed uh, uh, David Hasselhoff. Uh, really? At first, I, I just my first question it was a bit like shaky. <laughs> I was like, okay, composure. <laughs> but oh yeah, you, you find that you will say something to that person and you don't even remember what's come out of your mouth and you're just stuttering and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So David Hasselhoff. Who's been the best one that you've interviewed? Oh, okay. <laughs> Think about that. Uh, um, I don't know really. Probably Danny Dyer because oh really, I he love him. is just him and Tamar Hassan. They are crazy. They see me on the red carpet and that's <laughs> it. It's just.